Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I want to walk you through a quick tip or trick, and it's uh, the command prompt when you try to use my, um, Microsoft Wireshark command line commands. <laughs> Jeez, that came out bad. Anyways, I'm going to leave it in there. So you know what I mean. So you have the command prompt, and you want to use some Wireshark commands like T-Shark, Dump Cap, that kind of thing. So you come over to the command prompt, and you just type uh, T-Shark, for example, enter, and it says it's not recognized. You can't find it. So then you have to change directory, go to your program files, and you have to try to remember, is it 32-bit or 64-bit because it'll be in a different folder. You've got to make sure you have permission to the folder because you might be in a corporate environment. It just goes on and on and on. So the easiest thing for us to do now is just add Wireshark to our path if we will be using Wireshark quite a bit on this computer. So let's do that. So from here, I'm going to click. I know you won't see this. It's off screen. I'm going to hit the Window button or the Start button. Click, and then I'm going to type Advanced. And there it is, view advanced system settings. Click, and then that dialog box appears with system properties in it. I'm gonna click environment variables, click. And then I wanna go to the system variables down here. Let me just move this into the center. And there's the path. So click, click, or edit, same thing. And I wanna add a new one. And I'm gonna add, I can either type it all out, uh, but I'll just show you how to browse in case you need to do that, browse. This PC, C, uh, program files, Wireshark. Again, it may be a, a, x86 depending on your system. Let's go down to Wireshark. There it is. Click OK. And it simply typed that path in. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Click OK. Click OK. And click OK. Now, here's the thing. So if I come back here and I type the word path just to see what my path is, I will not. Actually, that's not true. It depends on how your PC is configured. So in my specific uh, situation, there is no Wireshark in the path yet, right? So what I have to do is I need to restart my computer. Some cases it's it's just dynamic and boom, it's there. Uh, another case you have to log out and log in. But if you don't know and you don't see it, just reboot the PC. So that's what I'm going to do. Worst case scenario, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to pause the video, obviously. I'm going to reboot and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, folks, so I've just rebooted the computer. Here you are back at the command prompt. Let's do that command path. Let's see what it looks like. Path. And if we take a good look, we should see Wireshark in here somewhere. There it is. So right there. It's added to the path now. So if we were to do a T Shark, for example, I don't know, dash uppercase D. And boom, there you go. So that's it. So make sure that it's in the path. Um, obviously, alternatively, you can just go to the path, uh, but there may be issues with depending on how your policies and your accounts are all set up. Who knows, right? This is the easiest way to do it. Uh, you also have to be careful in some situations I've seen, depending on the corporation's configuration of the computers, uh, their login script slash policy, sometimes the path gets wiped out. So please keep that in mind. Uh, worst case scenario, you end up running the T-Shark command with the full path uh, to the Wireshark folder. So have a good day. Bye for now.